I'm looking real fresh right now. Listen, YouTube, what I just did in Velocity Cuts, hold on, let me see if you guys can see it. What I did in Velocity Cuts, listen, listen, it's huge, all right? A big transformation. I can cut somebody here all the way off, all right? It's going down, all right? Make sure you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. It's no reason why I should be out here in these streets, but I'm out here, all right? I got to go back in. But like I said, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. You're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button now. It's your boy 360 Jeezy. Stay tuned. I thought that I thought when I put it over the thing that you couldn't be able to see me anymore. But I realized you guys can still see me. That was an epic fail. Guess I gotta do the classic hand. So first thing I'm gonna do when attacking this type of cut is I'm gonna cut the ponytail first. Um, that way it cuts off a lot of the bulk at once. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start by sectioning off the hair, separating the top from the bottom. So my client wants the little nappy sponge curl top and a fade on the sides. So I'm just going to kind of pin up the top with my duck clips and uh, start by knocking down that bulk on the sides. So I'm going to start by taking my Endis Masters with the three guard open and knocking off all that bulk on the side. Next thing I'm going to do is take out the duck clips and pick everything out so I can see what I'm working with. Using my afro shears, I'm just going to knock it down to a length where it's not as bulky as what you're seeing here. Using my Endis Cordless T Outliners, I'm going to set in my bald line. Now, my client wanted to keep his sideburns, so that's why you see me kind of start in front of my client's ear. Um, and just I'm going to just bring it all the way back in a contour way, the best that's, that fits my client's uh, head shape. Using my wall magic clips, I'm just going to bald out the rest of the bulk at the bottom. Now with the lever open, um, I'm just going to go up about an inch, keeping it consistent all the way through. And you'll notice that, you know, I, I, it appeared that I cut off the sideburns, but, you know, I always like to keep my sideburns 
at a lever open length. So, you know, it's, it's fine if you just attack the sideburns like how I did. So with the one guard open, same thing. Um, I'm going up about an inch and I'm making sure I scoop out. With the two guard open, I'm going up and scooping out at the same time. Now right here, I'm not really necessarily um, going up about an inch. I'm just trying to make, you know, that, that next level flow into the hair up top. So I'm going back with my wall magic clips and I'm doing some freehand just shaping the way I want the hair to go and the way I want the hair to go is kind of a flared out uh, direction so you're going to see me kind of go up and then scoop out. So putting on my zero guard clothes in a flick out motion, flick out that middle line. So with the lever closed in a flick out motion, flick out that bottom line. Now keep in mind that as you go up, you're gonna wanna adjust your lever because you don't wanna, you know, keep it with the lever closed and go up in the area where it's the uh, lever open, you know what I mean? So adjust your lever as you go up. So lastly, as far as the blend goes, you want to just do some detail work, slap on, you know, your one guard, uh, use your corners as much as possible, lighten up those dark spots that you see. This is definitely those details that your client will respect and definitely he will come back in your chair because he's noticing how you're really taking care and paying attention to detail. So coming back with the shears, I'm basically shaping, knocking it down just a notch, 
because I know my client doesn't want it this high, so that's what I'm doing, just taking things down. YouTube, this is The Cut, and if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button, and I know you guys are going to be like, oh, should have curl sponged it, so here it is, I'm curl sponging it, giving it, giving you guys what you need to see, alright? If you like the beat, make sure you go over to Hustle Dreams Production, his link will be in the description below. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. My Snapchat is GZ360 and my Instagram is 360GZ. But it's your boy 360GZ and I'm out of here. Cheat.